what are the psychological factors that contribute to the excessive fear of loss of an investor and how one can overcome them. Let's welcome our industry expert Ms. Amrita to enlighten us now. Let me ask you a question. Problem number one is, which option would you choose? Uh, option number one, get 90,000 for sure. Or option number two, a 90% chance to get 1 lakh. Option number one is surety. Option number two is you can get 1 lakh, but there is 90% chance. Which option will you be choosing? Option one, yes, because any day surety is better than, you know, something which is not sure. Uh, we have a 90% chance to earn 1 lakh. But what if we <coughs> land up in the 10% other people? Then we uh, don't earn anything. So a, sure, a surety becomes a better choice. Now, let me ask you another question, which is very similar to problem number one. So let's look at case number two. Now, case number two also will ask you and urge you to choose an option. The option is lose 90,000 for sure. For sure, you will lose 90,000. Or there is a 90% chance to lose 1 lakh and a 10% chance to lose nothing. Now, tell me which option would you be choosing? Option number 1 or option number 2? So, you can clearly see that now when we have to face a sure loss, we want to gamble. Please add. 90% chance to lose 10,000 rupees more. But we are thinking that there is 10% chance that we will not lose anything. And we think that we will be in the percent uh, population group. But what if we land up in 90% population group? Bad things are meant for others. Bad things are not meant for us. We'll take that chance. And by taking that chance, we're actually taking more risk. So we are choosing a risky gambling proposition because Mentally, we are think, thinking, ki, I don't want to choose option number one because that, that is a loss, that is defeat. That's a bad feeling. Uh, I'll feel like a loser. I would rather go with uh, something where I'm gambling, which has higher risk, still a 10% chance that I may not lose anything. And that is called typical loss aversion behavior. Loss aversion behavior means that we hate losses. So if you look at a utility curve, uh, somebody has uh, 200 rupees, uh, the reaction would be, wow, great, I made a profit. Uh, if somebody loses 200 rupees, you can see that the re emotional reaction is far more excessive. Oh, how could this happen? Why did it happen? You will be very anxious. You'll call your financial advisor. You may not get sleep that day, etc. So the emotions attached to losses is far, far higher than emotions attached to gain. Losses loom larger than gains. A lot of us dislike losing than liking winning. So uh, there was this Korean tennis player who uh, lost in one of uh, in this Asian games and he refused to shake hands with uh, the other opponent. He might have his own reasons, whatever it is. Uh, but sometimes losses can be so bad that uh, we, uh, defeats can be so bad that it is very difficult for us to fathom that and swallow that. So the pain of losing is psychologically twice powerful and twice heavy as the pleasure of gaining. So gain 100 rupees, okay, cool. Loss of 100 rupees, oh my God, how could this happen? The world is cool and blah, blah, blah. So usually the loss aversion ratio is one and a half times to two and a half times. What is loss aversion ratio? It is gain to loss ratio that for every loss, what how much of gain you want and uh, typically for every loss of one lakh uh, people expect a gain of two and a half lakhs to three lakhs whenever i've done this activity people have actually told me that for every loss of one lakh they want a gain of one crore so only when they gain 10 times more their uh, souls will get uh, satisfied they say in hindi na atma ko tripti milegi so the other uh, soul will get satisfied only when the losses uh, the gain is 10 times more than the loss now, that is called typical loss aversion. Thanks for your detailed explanation. Are you in search of a personal guide who can remove the stress of handling your finances? Then please feel free to avail our expert consultation. And also, you can attend our webinars to gain investment-related insights. Both the consultation and webinar are absolutely free and you can find the link in the below description. Please like and share and do subscribe to Holistic Investment.